I'm Scott Al Miller. It is the 2nd of November, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today is Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, and that is an important festival here in Nicaragua, just like it is famously in Mexico and many other parts of Latin America. So in today's episode, we're going to be heading to the Cemeterio of Guadalupe, one of the most important uh, sites in the city of Leon, where we're going to be checking out Bunuelos and other treats that are specially made only on this day. So it's going to be a shorter episode. We're doing something quite a bit different. I hope that you like it. Join me right after the bump. All right, we're here in Guadalupe, the barrio of Guadalupe, south of El Centro in Leon, and they've actually blocked off the roads. This is the largest cemetery in the city, is the Cemeterio de Guadalupe, which has been on the show previously. It's been quite some time, but Liesl and I did some shooting there uh, a while ago, and it is raining today, as it often is, uh, but they've blocked off the road just behind me. The entire barrio is basically a parking lot. There's vendors all up and down the sides of the streets. I'll try to show them here as we walk around. And the cemetery's in front of us, so they've blocked off the road quite some ways in front of the cemetery. We're gonna head up to the cemetery itself where they are doing food. Now, we got some buñuelos earlier today, but I was stuck uh, working and I wasn't able to come out and do it myself. Uh, but now we are back out with the crew and doing some filming so you can see what it's like here in Leon, Nicaragua for Dios de los Muertos. <music> Buñuelos in the street. Mmm, they're fantastic. Like all, it's all honey. It's closest to donut holes. There's a bunch of types of these they only do on Dia de los Muertos, and so there's all these stands, and it's very unique. You know, like eight or ten different things that you can't get any other time. It's fantastic. Come here, see. Sawdust art is an important cultural uh, our expression in this part of the world and it is for many different holidays that is done so here in the cemetery of Guadalupe they have it right on the main drags there's a ton of people coming through partially because it is a day to come to the cemetery it's also time to see the artwork and a time that all the vendors set up just outside the cemetery proper so this is where everybody comes and uh, but you can see if you step off the main path you still get a lot of quiet the cemetery is a very very large cemetery In addition to buñuelos, the other popular thing is tamales that are a special sweet tamales. These are like a dessert instead of a meal, and they wrap them in the leaves, and they sell them here in the market as well. So those two things are definitely the, the primary treats. The buñuelos are a little bit more iconic, I think, but both of them are amazing. Um, and the, the tamale are made with masa, so it's very heavy uh, and very unique, not like anything you're going to get 
in North America traditionally. Well, in Mexico, but not in the United States uh, or Canada. So it's very special to come out and get these as a dessert thing. Nakatamal, which is very uh, Nicaraguan, is available all year round, every day people have it. And this is them making buñuelos right there. This is the masa that they're scooping out and throwing uh, directly. Actually, that's not masa, that is yuca. In this particular case, they make them all the same. They have the dough already and they just scoop it out, throw it into these giant open air fryers. Really neat to see this. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff like this that is cooked like this year-round here in Nicaragua, but what a special day. We had uh, such a nice time coming out, and you can see some of the ones prepared there on the left. Just looks delicious, especially if you add a little bit of uh, honey or sugar or something to it. And then elote as well. All, just always, right? Every, <laughs> every celebration in Nicaragua, uh, you're always going to have elote, and they make it with so much different toppings it is so messy and a little bit spicy and uh but fun and uh always makes for the best video because there's no way to eat it without there being a complete and total mess so valentina is here this is not valentina who does our thumbnails but she is joining us for the day and helping to show off the food of nicaragua she had a good time coming out and see a lot of the desserts are out and there's a lot of normal stuff a lot of people selling flowers and drinks and just all kinds of things it's a big family event to just come out and have lots of vendors it's kind of like a little fair and you just come out and have a good time like it's it's a little celebration of life in nicaragua <laughs> all right it was a successful trip to guadalupe we got a ton of food to bring back for everyone at the house got a ton of different uh, types of things to try and show you and uh, we managed to park really easily which is pretty hard to do so this went pretty well it was really interesting and the food is really cool uh, which uh, all of it basically I mean a few things but basically everything is only available today so you really have to come out and go to all those sellers uh, and get the different uh, bunuelos and the tamales that are only done today that's really really cool that there's all this food that's uh, uh, special for today so hopefully you enjoyed that let's go eat some of this because that looks delicious that was a lot of fun the food was amazing i hope you enjoyed getting to see that remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel make it possible for us to go out and buy donuts and those kinds of things buymeacoffee.com slash scott allen miller that does so much to help make this show possible i appreciate so much everyone who does that and and reaches out and just makes makes it possible for us to do this show it's it's, it's a lot of work, and we love doing it, uh, but we really appreciate that and, and the likes and the subscribes and the comments. Just scroll down. Let us know what you think about this episode and others, things that you want us to do, things you want us to see. Remember, coming up in about a week, we're going to be heading, uh, I think, in exactly, no, it's a little bit more than a week, we're going to be heading to Bolivia. So we've got Costa Rica, Bolivia, a little bit in the airport in Peru, only the airport, but a lot going on. It's going to be absolutely crazy getting to that. Lots going on this week. Share on social media, tell your friends, and I will see all of you tomorrow.